Now, this is how to fix a user inactive issue. So, just in case you are trying to log into the US appointment portal and you click on sign in and you get this error user is inactive. There's only one problem that could lead to this particular situation, and that is because once you finish your registration, you're supposed to do a particular process to be able to activate your account. So, if you don't do that process, automatically it's going to be showing you that your account is inactive now, now let me show you how to fix that particular situation once you log into your account you're going to get this email so the next thing is to quickly log into your account you're going to get this email so once you click on this email it will tell you that your account has been verified as you can see account successfully confirmed so the next thing you want to do is to now log into that particular account so once I click sign in, automatically the same account that was showing you account inactive will now automatically log in. Basically, that's how to solve that particular situation. So in case you're having this issue, follow these steps to activate your account first before you proceed. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.